Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan and on this channel you will find financial, travel and more videos. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of Rewards on Points video and I'll talk about uh, the new Tim Hortons Rewards program. If you're first time watching my video, on this channel I do travel videos, videos on credit cards, points, rewards and other videos. So if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe now because there will be a lot more videos coming up. So Tim Hortons actually is kind of late to start a their viewers program, but uh, finally they started the viewers program starting uh, March 20, uh, which is today. And uh, the viewers program seems to be very fairly simple. So what do you do? You do uh, seven transactions, uh, and uh, after seven transaction you'll get a reward and the reward can be a coffee or tea or any baked goods uh, excluding a uh, bagel and uh, timbits so in terms of the purchases uh, Tim Horton website which you're looking at right now mentions that uh, it has to be at least a 50 cents transaction seven separate times and you cannot do uh, seven transactions or more than one transaction one after another there has to be a gap of at least uh, 30 minutes or half an hour so in terms of value if you're looking at uh, uh, 50 cents times 7 uh, so you're going to be have uh, going to get your free uh, rewards after uh, $3 and 50 cents spent uh, but if you look at McDonald's and Starbucks you're going to have uh, to spend a lot more to get your free rewards so it looks like uh, this one is giving you more value and uh, more uh, and it's uh, easy to understand so definitely uh, this is what everyone has been looking for now you can collect uh, rewards either by using a physical plastic rewards card uh, which is right here uh, I have to get that at Tim Hortons uh, or you can just you know download the app and then you can collect uh, rewards on your uh, phone as well Another interesting thing about Team's reward program is that uh, when you are at your reward transaction, so let's say you're getting the free uh, transaction or free reward after seventh purchase, that transaction is actually considered another transaction. So basically, your free transaction is considered a transaction, and then it's going to accumulate with other transactions. You'll get more value if you uh, redeem your rewards for baked goods uh, instead of coffee or tea because some uh, baked goods uh, could be more valuable than coffee or tea. And the, another good thing about the program is that you know you're not limited to small size of coffee or tea. You can have actually uh, any size coffee and tea. So the the key rules uh, of this Team Rewards program is that uh, transactions less than fifty cents will not be considered. Uh, you know uh, to uh, towards your rewards uh, so it has to be at least minimum of 50 cents and you have to wait 30 minutes in between and uh, you can bank uh, or you can accumulate up to five rewards on your account at any time but if you uh, you know go above that then the system will just you know will not include uh, that uh, rewards so or that purchase or transaction so you better use uh, you know your rewards uh, as long as you know it's below five uh, rewards and then uh, you cannot uh, bank more than 120 days so if you look here it looks like to me that uh, Tim Hortons is considering transactions instead of an item in order to be eligible for the rewards what I mean by that let's say you're buying a cup of coffee a bagel or anything else but you know you're combining them and paying them uh, together that's considered one transaction and that's going to consider our count towards one reward you're not going to get three rewards so each transaction can be uh, can have more than uh, several items so as long as they're you know above 50 cents then you're going to get uh, one reward from out of that uh, transaction if we look at here eligible purchases what what qualifies as a transaction then it mentions right here that your rewards are based on the number of transactions regardless of what you purchase provided that the transactions are within the key rules restrictions of the team Hortons program so it means to me that you know it doesn't matter what you're buying uh, you know you're just going to get uh, rewards based on transaction so if uh, this is not the case then you can definitely leave a comment uh, in the comment section below uh, because I haven't tested this yet and uh, in terms of what type of rewards you can get so you can get any size of uh, coffee tea or a baked goods 
and you don't have to worry about actually uh, applying your reverse uh, because uh, what happens there that if you are buying a several items and then the system will just uh, apply the reward to the most most expensive eligible item in your order so you don't miss out on any savings so that that's a good uh, thought uh, because you don't need to worry about what is the most expensive next thing i'd like to uh, point out that uh, my purchase didn't count towards my trans uh, re reverse why is that so there are certain times when transactions will not count towards your rewards uh, if the transaction was less than 50 cents and or if you made a purchase within 30 minutes of your last transaction uh, then these will not qualify for a reward if you're interested then you can actually go through all these facts uh, but you know I uh, basically went through the uh, basics of this rewards program so everyone is happy to see uh, this rewards program because uh, this uh, we have been waiting for long uh, to you know get a rewards program or some sort of points program from uh, Tim Hortons and finally they come up with uh, this program and uh, if you uh, like what you see please give it a thumbs up and if you find out something uh, new or interesting please just leave a comment in the comment section below and uh, if you haven't subscribed already subscribe now so I'll see you shortly thank you